but again, it says 1914. Can I give them the secret recipe or not really? It's six o'clock in the morning here in the desert. It's still dark outside, bloody freezing. I couldn't sleep all night. I signed up for a tour to see the desert at sunrise. It has to be amazing to justify waking up at six o'clock in the morning. After a short ride on a pickup truck, we got to our first destination to see the sunrise just behind me. Barren lands inhabited only by Bedouins and flocks of tourists, of course. There's a camp just right there. Not sure if you can see it. There's another one over there. And this, my friends, is how every morning the heat of the sun takes over the freezing cold of the night and brings life. I am now driving through what is known as Lawrence Canyon and it's named after Thomas Edward Lawrence. If you've never heard of him, you should probably watch the film Lawrence of Arabia, one of the masterpieces of Western cinema. Lieutenant Lawrence is not your military advisor, but I would like to hear his opinion. Damn it, Lawrence, who do you take your orders from? T.E. Lawrence, a spy in the British Army, a liaison officer, that's what you call them nowadays, between the British Army and the Arab rebels. He supported, instigated the Arab revolt against the Ottoman Empire. Back in the day, the British Empire had interest in uh, destabilizing the Ottoman Empire. That was the purpose of his work here in Wadi Ram. And uh, the canyon I'm driving through at the moment was named after him. Without him, the Arab revolt against the Ottoman Empire would have never happened, probably. And uh, the world may look very different. Lawrence Canyon. I don't know if you can hear the echo. It's really loud here. Where I'm going now, where I am, is the place where T.E. Lawrence used to live. Is it? It's 1915. So the time he was here, it says 1915 on there. I know he died in like 1933. So very likely he was here when this rock was sculpted. And this, I cannot read Arabic, unfortunately. But again, it says 1914. Sugar, please. And here I am, sitting in this beautiful place, having this amazing tea, where Lawrence probably had tea too. Can I give them the secret recipe or not really? No, you have to come here, guys. Amazing. So good, man. Among the, most, the many amazing things I've seen here in Wadi Ram, I'm not sure if you can see it, the landscape just behind me, Anyway, what I wanted to show you here are these inscriptions in the rocks that were made, apparently, by the Nabataeans, the population that used to inhabit these lands before the Roman invasion, so more than 2,000 years ago. I don't know if you can see them over there. They're like camels or other animals. There's something that seems to be a dog there camels you can see them those they look like flamingos but I doubt they were flamingos can you imagine that where I'm standing right now 2,000 years ago some man was making these inscriptions more than 2,000 years ago several populations inhabited these lands not only the Nabataeans that I mentioned but apparently there have been settlements in the area since the Neolithic period it is really fascinating to think of what life must have been like back then Eventually, I am back to the camp. Oh, breakfast, fantastic, thank you very much. 
Here you go. Hello guys, uh, my name is Ahmed, I am living in Wadi Ram, and Mr. Stefano is famous in the world. <laughs> there you go, thank you very much. Shukran, my friend. Breakfast time, guys. Sadly, the time has come to head back to civilization. I really wish I could spend more time here, but Aqaba is calling. Goodbye, very nice to meet you.